Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be discussing um, the new Wet n Wild foundation and a couple products that I did pick up from the drugstore. Um, I know that there's probably already a lot of videos on some of this stuff. Um, I was a little late to the bandwagon, but I did see it at Walmart the other day and I did want to try it out. So this is the new um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I got the color uh, Golden Beige, so I'm hoping that it matches me so here it is right there and the claims for this foundation it says goodbye photo flashback tested under seven light conditions and it's supposed to have no flashbacks so I've seen a few girls on YouTube do a first impressions on this so I really wanted to try it out so we're going to be trying out this today and I also picked up the wet n wild concealer uh, this is in the color medium beige so I'm really hoping that this is gonna actually not be too dark. I feel like it looks really dark in the tube, but that's that right there. And also from the line, I picked up the pressed powder. A lot of people said this is very similar to the mineralized skin finish that MAC, I actually have it right here. So I use this powder quite a bit. Um, I really like it because it's just really light and not heavy or cakey on the face. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be a great alternative because that powder is expensive and this was only a few dollars at the drugstore so this is what that powder looks like and then also I did pick up two of the liquid cat suits um, from Wet n Wild uh, they're liquid lipsticks that I'm super excited to try so we're gonna be trying out one of these uh, I got the color give me mocha and uh, missy and fierce so those are those right there I'm super excited to try those so yeah and then I also picked up this hydro boost water gel um, it's just a uh, moisturizer from Neutrogena now that's not wet and wild but I just wanted to let you guys know that I did pick it up and I did try it today and I actually really like it so far it made my face feel really smooth and not like super oily so I'm excited that it's it's um, hydrating and it's not oily and it is a water gel so I heard water gel um, moisturizers are better for oily skin so I'm gonna keep trying this out and I'll let you guys know in a uh, maybe on a Friday favorites or something um, how I've been liking this so I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this one but for today we're gonna just focus on the foundations and products from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender on one side and a flat kabuki powder or I'm gonna use a flat kabuki a foundation brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other side so we can see if the foundation applies a little bit differently so we'll go ahead and get started on that I'm hoping that the color matches because it looked kind of light in the tube but we'll just see how it goes first I'm doing this step one skin equalizer um, primer from makeup forever uh, this is just a primer to set in on my t-zone because I get kind of oily and I just want to make sure that it gets uh, nice and evened out cover up some of my pores we'll do that really quick make sure that's all pressed in your skin all right now the color on this that I got was golden beige it does look really light but I'm hoping that maybe on my skin it doesn't look as uh, light than it does in the actual bottle. It is a glass bottle, so that's really nice. I believe this retailed for less than $5. I will link it down below in my description box for if anyone that's interested in the product. Um, Wet n Wild is cruelty free and it does say new on there, so I am super excited to try this out. I'm just hoping it, it works well for me. Now right off the bat, it does have this uh, almost like spatula so we'll just go ahead and start dotting it on our face. I like having a spatula that way because I don't really like when there isn't a pump, but it's nice if you don't have to actually touch the product. It's more sanitary and then it just gets all over your fingers. So I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I'm just going to put a little bit on one side. And we're going to use this Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush to blend everything out. We'll start buffing it out. It does dry pretty quick, I noticed right off the bat. So maybe I'll just on the other side not put so much. 
but it actually does look like it it matches me pretty good that's good I hate when I buy foundations and they don't match definitely soft to the touch it doesn't feel really sticky on my face which is nice okay so that's the coverage with just one layer and I not exactly oh it says that it's supposed to be a medium coverage so I mean I can still see some stuff peeking through a little bit so I would definitely do another layer so we'll go ahead and do that it's kind of splotching a little bit on my sideburn area where I have some hair so I don't know what that's all about but maybe it's this brush because this brush is kind of dirty so that's without and that's with so we'll go ahead and try on the other side with the beauty blender and see if that applies a little bit differently sometimes foundations are better with beauty blenders or they're better with um, brushes so we'll just see with this I definitely feel the coverage is a little bit more heavier with the Beauty Blender. I definitely feel like I, I got more coverage with the uh, Beauty Blender than the brush. The color is really nice. It actually matches. It looks really light on the camera because the lighting, but it actually does match really well. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I'm hoping this concealer is not too dark. Oh no, perfect. So, go on with the concealer. The concealer feels a little bit thick, but it's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and do just do one eye real quick because it, it seems like it dries pretty quick, so I don't want it to get... Um, you can tell a difference on which eye does and doesn't have concealer. It's not settling in my fine lines, which is the thing I have the most problem with, so that's good. It's nice. Not bad. We'll go ahead and do the other side. I actually, it feels like thick when you're putting it on, but it doesn't feel heavy on the face, which is nice. I don't like a really thick concealer because I have fine lines. I'm going to go ahead and take it up on my eyelid too as a primer for my eyelid. And it doesn't feel oily or cakey or anything like that, so that's good. I'm pretty, pretty impressed so far. But the major test is how it wears throughout the day. So tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to wear it at work and see how it wears throughout the day. And it's already late tonight, so I'm not going to be able to do a check back you know a check in to see how it holds my oils because that's the true test but tomorrow I'm gonna wear it and I'll see how well it holds my oils and when I get home from work I'll do a recap of how um, it held up throughout the day that's that so far so to set everything I'm gonna use the uh, powder this is the pressed powder in 824 warm beige so we're gonna go ahead and use this And right off the bat, it does feel really silky, just like the MAC Mineralized. And if you do a comparison, the powders do look pretty similar. This is the MAC one, and this is the Wet n Wild. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
there we go. This is MAC, this is the Wet n Wild. So the powders, to me, look pretty similar and they do feel very similar. So I'm really hoping I like this because then I can stop buying the expensive MAC one. So I'm just gonna take um, my Sephora Pro Airbrush um, in 55 and just do a little bit and tap off and we'll just set the face. It does feel really nice on the skin, nice and silky. Down the neck. Some bronzer on, but that's it right there. I really um, like the way that it's looking on my skin right now. Everything just looks so soft and airbrushed, so I like it. So, so far, so good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do is finish up my bronzer and blush, throw a little mascara on, and then I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. All right, so we're back. I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. Um, I'll list everything down below on what I used for the rest of my face. completely forgot that I also wanted to try out the liquid lipstick that I bought so I'm gonna go ahead and um, try on I'll swatch both of them but I'm gonna go ahead and try on the uh, give me mocha color and I'm not gonna do a lip liner I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it so hopefully it doesn't end up all over my lips but um, it'll kind of match the color that I put on the rest of my eyes okay I'll go ahead and swatch both of them right now for you so you can see this is 930 B Missy and Fierce it looks more red in the tube, so I'm hoping it's that red when I swatch it. It has this nice little curve and the doe foot applicator, which I really like. So we'll go ahead and swatch this color. Ooh, that's a really nice red. That's the color right there. And the second one is Give Me Mocha C925B. It has a nice little top right there. Again, that little curve right here for you. And we'll go ahead and swatch this. So that's the red Missy and Fierce, I believe. And then Give Me Mocha on the bottom. So there's a ton more colors that I definitely want to try out, but I just wanted to get two for right now because these are the colors that I was more, most attracted to. But these retail for, um, I believe, um, these retail for about, well, I got one of them at Walmart, which was only $3.95, and the other one I got at our local grocery store called Winco, and that one was almost $5. So I know I haven't seen them for more than $5, so to me they're pretty... Um, affordable for the drugstore for being less than five bucks. I like it because this doe foot fits in right into your lips so it makes it easier to get the color on your lips. So yeah, that's the color right there. It is really nice. I do like this color. It's really pretty. It's not too drying. And I still feel like it's not going to really super dry out my lips. So yeah, I'm excited. I actually really like that color. So. I'm actually going to have to cut this video short because my battery is dying, so there's the final look. I am really liking the way that the foundation looks. I really like the way that um, it's sitting on my face. The color matches really, really nicely, and I'm really, really liking this lip color. It's beautiful. I don't really wear a lot of colors like this, so it is really pretty. And the foundation is still looking really, really good. So like I said, tomorrow I am going to wear this foundation all day at work and we'll see how it holds up. Um, but 
everything else I'm pretty satisfied with so I'll definitely give you guys an update on how everything looks. I apologize my camera uh, shut off there at the end so I was saying that I will do a follow-up tomorrow on how the foundation and everything with the concealer and powder how everything wore throughout the day and I will definitely let you guys know tomorrow because right now I'm going to bed and taking all of this stuff off. So guys watching every video and all the feedback that I have received so far has seriously made me feel so happy. I love hearing your guys' feedback and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm trying to work my butt off to get as many videos out as possible and working towards um, putting new feed up for you guys. So thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed. Thank you guys so much for giving me all the love and support. It really means the world to me. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my kitchen right now. Um, I wanted to do a quick check-in for the foundation. Um, I had to run home for lunch really fast, so I figured I would show you guys the foundation. I've been wearing it since uh, 7 o'clock this morning, so it is about uh, 117 right now. And so far, so good. I'm really happy with the way that the foundation is looking. I know the lighting in here isn't that great, but I'll do a close-up of the foundation so you guys can see it. Um, I'm really happy with the way it looks so far. It doesn't feel too oily. I can tell I'm getting a little shiny in my T-zone problematic areas, so in my forehead, my nose, and my cheeks. But uh, my chin is actually looking pretty good. Usually foundation tends to break up right there, so it looks um, pretty decent so far. So uh, as soon as I get home from work tonight, I will do another check-in. Um, I'll be home about 5 o'clock, so about 5.30, and that'll be a um, eight hour, well almost nine hours of me wearing the foundation. So I'll definitely let you guys know um, how it looks and I'll do another check-in then. Okay, see ya. Hi guys, I just wanted to do one last check-in. Um, I did a uh, check-in around 1.30 today and um, wasn't looking as oily as I am now. You can definitely see the shine. It's not as shiny as it seems on camera. I just have these really bright lights so it's really putting the focus on my shiny areas but as far as the foundation goes um it's pretty much worn down a little bit on the sides here um my chin still looks pretty good well, around my nose and definitely in my t-zone area that has gotten uh really really oily and around my forehead has gotten pretty oily too but other than that other than that, um, the foundation actually looks pretty decent. Um, it hasn't, sometimes it wears, my foundation wears off over here on the side because my hair, or if I'm going like this, it'll wear off, but I actually think it looks pretty decent on the side, considering I've been wearing this foundation for about, let's see, I put it on about 7 o'clock, well, like 6.40, no, about 7 o'clock this morning, so... For almost nine hours, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I've got the foundation for the rest of the week, but um, I want to see if I just do an oil. These are those little oil pads. If I just use an oil sheet, I want to see how well the foundation still looks. Which is getting rid of some of that shine. So you can see, I get pretty oily throughout the day, but um, if you had to rush just to go somewhere right after and you didn't have time to retouch up and you just did the oily pads, like I don't, I think it looks pretty, um, it still looks really good. Um, so yeah, for it only being a, I believe $5 uh, foundation, I think I'm liking it happy with everything um like I said I'm still gonna continue um trying out the product for the rest of the week and maybe if I shoot a video this weekend I'll let you guys know in a favorites video maybe um how well I'm still liking the foundation because I, I feel like sometimes when you use different primers and moisturizers they can tend to make the foundation look a little bit different but for right now I am liking it and I'm going to continue using it for the rest of the week and then I'll give you guys an update later on. So here I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the feedback that I had for the foundation. I would definitely recommend you guys trying it out. Um, like I said I have oily skin so uh, you could see how oily I got throughout the day but with little oil pad cleaners like these, these are from um, Clean and Clear, um, with st stuff like this and then re um, 
with stuff like that and reapplying the powder, I think you would definitely be okay with wearing this all day. If like the video, please remember to hit that like button and uh, remember to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see future videos. And then again, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions on future videos you would like to see. Um, I would love to record anything that you guys are interested in viewing next. So, look forward to filming my next video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!